we have to ask the question, what does it mean? Again, this is where we left off, a whole biur, a whole base, a whole question on the word of Vavcha, how could you say it's close? So the says, the key is Vavcha la say how the words of Vavcha come together and juxtaposed to the word Achseisei because here you're dealing of a lev which is associated with Lasseisei, with Asiya, with, ac- with action meaning that it's, it, it's based on what he said in the previous chapter that if someone has the minimal amount of attention and heart and drive to do what he ought to do despite he doesn't have a complete lev on its own, in other words, a love, a, a, a drive, an overt, um, a, a manifest type of drive and, 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 and lave and feeling and sensation to the matter, in this case to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, but that fire, the little fire of love which is associated with that understanding that it's not yas, so it's always important to always keep in line with the partner who you love, in this case, that Kodesh Baruch Hashem, that is what is karev, that is close to the Yid. It means to say not only attainable, it's something which he could, it's to the Yid, it makes so much sense, Yoaso, to the extent that Tater calls it karev. So we'll read the words inside. La Seise means the Ava, the love, again, this is all predicated on what it, we learned in the, in the, in the, in the chapter 16. That the, we're dealing with a love which brings to the asiyas ha mitzvah to the actual to the action of the mitzvah, which is the reusa the liba the desire of the heart, shibet alumis lev which are in the hidden dimensions of the heart, which as we mentioned before that leads to the person to stay determined never to go astray, always keep himself aligned with Hakadosh Baruch Hu. Even though it's not in a revealed dimension of the one's heart, as a fiery sensation, a fire, a, a flame of fire. Nonetheless, and that again, you can argue that it's not karev. You can say perhaps it's not karev, but this lasse which brings lasse again, which the Altareb elaborated in the Perik Zion in the beginning of Perik Zion or what he's leading to, again, bringing the Raya, the proof from the period, beginning of Perik Yitzayin, um, that you're dealing with Ava uh, La Asaisi, which is connected to Asiya. Dover Zeh, and this idea of a person staying determined, despite he's not going to have that fiery feeling, that fervor is feeling to Kodesh Baruch nonetheless, the, the, the minimal feeling, or that profound fire, the profound feeling of... <clears throat> which leads to La Saisi, which ultimately brings out that sense of determination that the person should be not aligned with, should be always aligned with Ras Nashem. This Dovar Tehidah's Meid testifies that it's Kariv Meid, it's very close to the person, vernacular and easy. Mechol Odo Mashayesh Lemech Bekodkode. It's attainable and easy to every person which has a brain in his skull, in his, in his, in his head which is an expression, right, if he has some brains in there, right away, and he has a meich, in other words, his mind is clear, and he knows how to understand and think clear, um, because many times we, we all have the ability to, under, to perceive <clears throat> and understand a, any matter. But the question is, is, is there clarity in my mind? Sometimes a person has meich, but it could be timtuma meich, a certain blockage in the clarity of his style of thinking. Some, there's another, not from the, just to mention it as well, there's sometimes Tim Tum Halev, that the heart is, there's a blockage on the heart, but, but the, 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 in other words, it's not only that a person has a brain, but his brain is clear, his brain is straight in understanding, in a straight thinker, his mind is in his possession, means to say there's nothing governing over his mind to allow his mind to express the emes, or that straight thinking, which, is, which exists there. Because his mind is bishuse, is in his rishus, and is in his authority, in his possession, to think straight. The yochel, his bein and bein, a person could ponder on the greatness of a Kodesh Baruch Hu, kechol as much as he want. O kishayi, means bein and bein, when he will indeed think in the greatness of a Kodesh Baruch Hu. 
<coughs> the infinite of Hakadosh Baruch Hu, blessed be He, mimele consequently a lead b'meichel al kaponim. So his mind will produce at least av al Hashem the love to Hakadosh Baruch Hu ledov kabei, which again will reflect, not necessarily will always produce a sensational love, but that minimal love. <clears throat> which produce with the minimum love rather the dov kabai to cleave to a kodesh baruchu bikiu mitzvahs of the to the continued continu, continuation to the constant devotion and the constant um, um, fulfill, f- fulfilling of Hashem's mitzvahs and others never going out of lo- a line with HaKadosh Baruch Hu's mitzvahs and never going out of line with Hashem's teda, meaning that he's all mitzvahs which comes to hand he makes sure to complete them and every ability he has to learn teda, he learns teda so fulfilling Hashem's mitzvahs and as for fulfilling and again learning Hashem's teda as that minimal, l- minimal love or drive which it takes that a person should be 100% aligned with Teir and Mitzvah, with Teir and Mitzvah, that is Kal, it's 100% attainable, because every person, even not necessarily his mind is going to produce a fervorous love, but the mind, with pondering in the greatness of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, it will constitute, it will dictate this message to the heart, that at least make sure you're always in the package of Teir and Mitzvah, you're always aligned, you're always the Mekayim Teir and Mitzvah. <clears throat> and this is the um, this is the um, so again so this is the alternative between that's kariv it's close it's easy it's attainable to every single person which is able to intellectualize and able to think straight understand straight with any without any blockage on his mind again there's nothing governing over, over his mind therefore he can think and ponder in the greatness of Akash Baruch every normal person which ponders in the greatness of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, the infinite of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, blessed be He, He consequently, it's inevitable that consequently He will produce at least, if not that fervorous love, He will produce at least a minimal love to know that He's always has to be Dovik, Dovko, by to cleave to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, by fulfilling Hashem's Mitzvah and Hashem's Teir. So then the person is going to say, in the end of the day, I'm missing a big... Com-. In other words, we spoke about the problem about missing the component of, of Av what what are going to be the wings to elevate the mitzvahs on high, and we said, Hashem, this is the bonus of HaKadosh Baruch Hamasaf but in the end of the day, a person still feels that, I'm, I'm in the, what's, where is my dveikist HaKadosh Baruch Where is my cleaving to HaKadosh Baruch In the end, it's only reflection in my action. I'm shaking the little vanessing, and I'm putting on the tefillin, I'm putting on the mezuzah. Is this called relationship? In a relationship, the, the, the heart plays such a role. And I'm missing out an important component. So Al Tarebbe said additional. Al Tarebbe spoke about the other um, in the previous chapter, the deficiency of Ava Viyira, love and fear. <clears throat> Besides the fact that love and fear contributes to any performance when there's done with feeling, but there's again the problem of where is the Tatum is being elevated to and the bonus of Hashem and so on, <clears throat> based on the Gemara. But here, the, in the person's mind, perhaps he doesn't feel adequately satisfied because he feels he's always involved in the action. Because the love in that way always comes to a state of fiery manifestation. So al says, don't worry about it. You are in a world of action over here. You're not in the world of angels, or you're not in the world of uh, any spiritual world, to say it better. You're not in a spiritual world. You're, this is a world of action. It's an Elam Hamaisa, and the mandate is to do. In this world is a time to for action. Scharam, reward, feelings in the relationship with HaKadosh Baruch Hu, that's designated, doesn't mean it's excluded from this world. Periodically we can attain that feeling in our relationship with HaKadosh Baruch Hu, but the exclusivity of feeling belongs to Ilm Abba. So the, 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 uh, on the overall, then it's not exclu- in other words, it's not excluded, but namely the Ilm Abba is there for schar, for reward. So, the, 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 uh, so, so it, as opposed to this world, it's Elam Hamaisa, world of action. So don't feel bad that you're involved so much in action. Because Hayyim La Saisim, today, today means in this physical world, it's Elam Hamaisa, it's a matter of Azul Machar. Again, the, 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 the tomorrow means Elam Abba, or any term of Al Machar literally means Elam Abba after 120 years, or in the time of, of, of Mashiach, Chis Hamaisim, then it's more the sensational experience with the Kodesh Baruch in a relationship with the Kodesh Baruch Hu. Today, 
So don't feel bad, but in the end of the day, you're namely involved in tater, learning Tatum and doing mitzvahs. Which is more makamach like it says. That determination of the mimayach shall be tipped to dos al chol lasmoli. Ultimately, so it, it makes perfect sense, but the Al Tereb kind of alludes to, just like to dissect this line of it, it alludes to another problem. So the first problem, Al Tereb says, you know, the person feels a little bit. Uh, and unsatisfied, incomplete, because in the end of the day, he's so much involved solely in Maisa, in Dvekas and Tehidim Mitzvahs, he doesn't, there's no, doesn't feel the, the connection on an m- emotional level. So al says, don't worry about it, la Saisa. But then al says, what about the, there is still a heart of the Nefshah Bahamis, which is pumping other messages. So if I have a love to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, Minimum the right side of my heart is again ignited to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, so if the right side of the heart is in love with HaKadosh Baruch Hu, that overrides the drive of the Nebuch Bahamis to love and to have lust and temptations to other things. Fine. Probably I'm going to be uh, tr- a triumph, I'm going to triumph in this battle. Because I have an overt love to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And Nebuch Bahamis says love to other things, but I'm, I'm in love with HaKadosh Baruch Hu, so it overrides the, 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 the eleven of the Nefesh Baham, it's the heart and the drives of the Nefesh Baham. But in this case, again, you're telling me that the love is not, not necessarily going to be there. So what is going to, where is my guarantee that my mind set up and means by the determination which he deals with time and again over here, again, the, the, the key over here is Talume Slev, the hidden resources of the heart. So how does that able to overcome the Nefesh Baham is the drives of the, of the animal soul? Stal Rebbe says, mind has enormous strength and potency. That despite the Nefesh Bahamis is pulling in another direction, I could be not only from time to time come in with the determination of my heart to fulfill Teremitzas, but I could establish this on a constant basis. So the Nefesh Bahamis is certainly driving me in another direction, but the Mayach Shalit Alalev, because by a human being, the way they wish to create it, a human being, that Mayach is mind, governs, Betiva Vituldase, it's not even nothing to do with Yiddish Kai Teremitzas, the way Hashem created man is by nature. And, and again, the Tudasi, by, by, by means of birth, innately, in other words, is mind governs al chalal asmal shabalev on the left side of the heart, which means again that's where the nefesh bahami is, the animal soul is situated. So and and more, and as well val piv on his mouth, that again his mouth should be constantly involved in learning Tayyid and doing mitzvahs or speaking words of chesed and so on. Val kolei varim in all limbs shem klei which are the clay keli the the, the kalim of action of his, the hands, the feet would go to shul, etc., etc. So this is clear. In the end of the day, that even someone doesn't have a booming love and a, a, a overt love to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, he could be constantly devoted to HaKadosh Baruch Hu and to Hashem's Tere, to Hashem's Mitzvahs. Shatrebe plays it out and opens it up so clearly, and he says, a healthy-minded person has... The, it will definitely produce, again, when he ponders in the greatness of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, he's going to definitely produce at least this Talumis Lev, which again takes the person <clears throat> and guarantees him that he can be stand in a constant Dveikus to cleave to HaKadosh Baruch Hu Hashem, fulfilling Hashem's Mitzvah, Hashem, fulfilling Hashem's Teira. And what about the heart? The heart is making trouble? The heart is causing trouble, it's going in different directions? Meyach Shal Lev. Mind by nature? governs over heart. So who's in control? Mind. My mind understands that it's about God. That's what's in control. That's, going, that's what's going to prevail. <clears throat> Here Dr. Rebbe introduces that it doesn't work by everybody. This notion that, that mind governs over heart doesn't work by everybody because there are individuals based on their own freedom of choice they brought them their heart into places previously into places which were very um, impure and unfortunate right unfortunately impure that the 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 energy of the impurity is kind of is kind of like a sack over their heart that the, there's a, a a complete separation and partition between mind and heart and therefore the mind is, doesn't have the ability or the mind's establishment, the mind's determination is not piercing through the layers which man placed 
on his heart. Meaning to say that his heart, even despite he understands to some degree of the greatness of a Kodesh Baruch Hu, but the heart is in control. In other words, the message doesn't come through the heart, hence it doesn't come through in that c constant devotion to Hashem, of learning Torah, learning in, in, his, in, in, in Kima Mitzvah, of the Mitzvah, of learning Torah. And this is we're dealing with a Rosha Ba'emes, somebody which got involved in Inyanim, which are very grave sins. Um, which are, which are, especially with the Madras, I'll tell us about the sins which ultimately, every sin uh, um, produces a layer between the persons and the Shama and HaKadosh Baruch Hu, God forbid. But generally, someone who's overly immersed and indulgent in the, prohi in the permit, prohibited, um, especially in Yanim Chumrim, things which are completely very grave and very st strict and stringent according to Teira, it unfortunately it's not someone could stand up and say, okay, now my mind is in charge and everything is going to work out. It doesn't work that way. You've got to break that shell. There is a covering, there's a very strong um, separation between your heart, your conscious experience with your, with, 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 with HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And you try to send a signal from your mind to the heart or even your mind should think straight. There's a big it's very blurry. It's very blurry means to say the messages are not coming through. And the reason why the messages don't, don't, don't come through because the man himself has created this thick shell which divides him and him and Akadosh Baruch and because these are godly messages coming from the brain and because of this separation with the Yid made, how could you expect the godly message to come and penetrate his heart when there's a thick layer over the heart? Who caused the thick layer? He himself being a Russia Be'emes, being involved, not being careful in Imyonim, which are in, 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 in Avedis, particularly those Avedis, which he says clearly that as I'll tell us, every Avedic for that matter, makes a covering of the person being in a partition, separates the with the Kodesh Baruch Hu. And how much more so when a person was Russia Be'emes, involved in Imyonim Asurim, things which Teira abhors, he caused enormous separation with the Kodesh Baruch Hu. Hence, in order that message, the signal from mind to heart, to come through, you got to crack that, 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 crack that, that partition. you got to break it. How do you break it? You don't break it with a hammer. So there's a Seder of Tshuva, which namely is a Leiv Nishba Venitke, like David HaMelech says, <clears throat> when he, when David HaMelech was heik, with the Heikim Eilish of Tshuva, which is again, the whole experience of Tshuva of David HaMelech, um, is encapsulated basically in that famous capital Nunalif in Tilim, which we mentioned, we say in Kishba Shalamita, as David HaMelech says, Leiv Nishba Venitke, Lekim Lesiv, that ultimately it's the broken heart, which allows that connection with the Yitzhak Kodesh Baruch Hu to resume and to reestablish itself. As the famous expression, I heard the name of the Baal Shem Tov, I heard the name of the Ruzhiner, there's nothing more whole than a broken heart. Because, it's, I think it's a, I mean, it, it's obviously such an such a emesis statement. Because what, the, what, what a broken heart does, especially when a person's Beichel, he literally cries, with the famous story of Rabbi Lezer ben Nerdaya. Rabbi Lezer ben Nerdaya cried so much as a result of his enormous sins, as the Gemara says, there was no sin in the Torah which he had the capacity of violating that he did not violate. But then in the end, he did tshuva, because again, it was leiv nish but it, it touched him so deeply that he cried till he died, literally. There was no container within himself which was, a, was able to contain that notion or that, of, of his dis, uh, disconnection. He could not contain his disconnection of HaKadosh Baruch Hu and where his neshama was as a result of his own sin. So he, bro he, he fell apart to such a degree that he could not re-establish himself and that was the, was the end of him when he came to El Mabba, it says, straight to Ganeidin, Yeshkein Elame B'Sha'achas, he could acquire his world in one moment. But we're not dealing with that dimension of that tshuva which could bring a person from where it's ultimately interconnected, the tshuva which could bring a person from one level to the other, as he was Kein Elame B'Sha'achas. We're dealing with the idea that the nishba, like nishba, broken heart, rips away one layer and the other layer again of this partition which covered the neshama, which disconnected him with the Kaddish Baruch. So here you're dealing with someone who has to send his signal, has to establish determination in his mind, and that determination has to carry over to his heart to be constantly devoted to Kaddish Baruch through Kima Tera Mitzvah. If there's a separation, it will not work. So what's the solution? It's not a done deal. There's a whole Seder which is a Seder of Tshuva. Now the whole Seder of Tshuva really is not necessarily pertinent to somebody who only sins 
especially with grave sins. So the whole Seder of Tshuva really be, it belongs to everybody. In other words, it's not someone who Dafka Rosh is The Seder of Tshuva belongs to everybody. But because Ayid has to do Tshuva always, we say Tachlan every day and so on. But we're not dealing with this regular Tshuva. We're dealing with a Avedas a Tshuva, a separate Avedas a Tshuva, which he has to go into really reha rehabilitation. He has to rehabilitate. He has to go into rehabilitation, and like you take someone, a person who fell into a deep depression as a result of a certain experience, he can't say, "Okay, wake up in the next morning. It's good. Let me just start my workday." It's not going to happen. He must go into therapy in a state of rehabilitation in order to re till he rehabilitates himself, and then that, then he could go onto this straight path and get up and, and as a functioning person, father, spouse, and so on and so forth, or a responsible, um, responsible person with his job, etc. The same thing when a person in Russia, MS, he has to go into rehabilitation. Rehabilitation means he has to go into this whole seder of tshuva, which is to understand ultimately, namely the idea of Tshuva, to understand what has transpired as a result of his inappropriate spe actions, inappropriate speech, inappropriate thoughts, how he took his neshama and he dumped it in a place which is, again, completely, completely disconnected from HaKadosh Baruch in other words, completely disconnected from HaKadosh Baruch through klipas and important layers of Tumah and so on, but not to put, it's not the point to put, to put the person in despair and say, okay, you're done, no. You, there was something, ain't looked over at the end of the day, there's nothing in the stands in the way of tshuva, you can do tshuva, Hashem is waiting for you, for you to do it, but you ought to do it, because you got to get rid of the layers in order to become, get back onto the normal conveyor belt, that you should be that healthy minded person, that your mind is clear, your mind is birshuscho, you have authority of your mind, means that you're a clear thinker and you have the ability that that message of the mind should penetrate the heart. Until you get there, you have your say that. In the, in the word, they are in the possession of their heart. Their heart is not in their possession to say, well, the heart is in my possession, means to say, I can govern over heart. My mind is in control. No, the heart. Is by by Russia libam yeshusam. Their heart is in their shusam. Sorry, they're showing him yeshusam. They're in their possession of the heart. The heart is in control. Achman alitzlan says a kelev dog. It's gemara says kuli lev. And this similar similarity. Yeshusli, the heart is in control. And the zeh einish al gedul veitzim avim. This is a punishment itself. The fact that the heart is in control. Achman alitzlan that itself. Is a punishment, a retribution, a punishment on the enorm, and the the intensity of their sins. Teda did not deal with these mesim, these these dead, these see the seas. Shebechayeim kri mesim, and they're alive. They continue to be called mesim because true life is dveikas by Kodesh Baruch is cleaving to a Kodesh Baruch Hu. Vaat madveikim Hashem alekechem chaim kol chamayim. The Eved is called Chaim Hashem alekim emes. Who alekim Chaim? Chaim is a lakus, is godliness. Dveikus in lakus is Chaim. Someone rips himself away from lakus. He could be walking, talking, and it looks like he's living, but he is in a place of misa. He's a place of death because he disconnected from the source of life, which is Chaim. Ki beemes. Ef shall it show him? That means even their right, even when they're living, they're kriy meis. Ki be emes, because the truth, ef shall it show him? Lahaskal avda sashem, avda sashem, show him cannot go on to get to the straight conveyor belt like we used. We used the the, the straight position of serving a kodesh baruch hu or the great straight line of 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 the derech, the derech hayoshar of serving a kodesh baruch hu. Well, ishi asu tshuva laover without doing repentance on the past chila. Firstly, lishber and again the mandate is to break the shaber or lishber, lishaber, lishber haklipas the impure forces shehein which these impure forces with the person self layered himself with as a result of his decision to sin. They become a partition mavdil, a separation, separating partition. Barzel becomes a partition of metal. It's not easy to just blow away. It's not something which made out of feathers that you give a blow and it's gone. It's Mechitza Shel Barzel, Hamatsekis, which, which <coughs> divides them, Beinom, between their them and Avim Shabashamayim, their God in heaven. And how does he break the Rahman al 
Therefore, he has to go to say the tshuva. How does he? What is the say the tshuva? The shvirus libei, the broken heart, the meridus nafshel chatov, and the bitterness of his soul, the bitterness of his soul. Uh, because of his sins, like it says in Zaya, like Mishkos Bezer, Alapasik, Zivche Likim, you want to bring a carbon to a Likim, to God, Ruach Nishbar, a broken spirit, Lev Nishbar, a broken heart. And what happened? What happened? What transpires as a result of a broken heart? Shalitei Lev Nishbar, when you break, your heart is broken, you're taking off layers, you're breaking this thick partition and divider which divides you and a Kodesh Baruch. A broken heart is like, it's like the, norm, the, the, the enormity, the enormous power of a broken heart. It has such kayak that it breaks more and more, takes up again another layer and another layer, breaks the spirit of impurity which caused this layer of partition, which divides the Yidim of Kodesh Baruch A broken heart breaks that spirit. A broken heart breaks that Ruch HaTum of Sitra and looks, look in Parshas Pinchos, Daf Rishmem, Parshas Vikro, Daf Ches, and Daf Hey. I mean, the first Daf appears in Amasho. This level is Chinas Chuvetato. This level is Chuvetato, the, the inferior level of Chuva, because we know it says it says the the uh, based on Kabbalah, there's the inferior level of Chuva and the higher level of Chuva. What is Chuvetato? Because it says basically the, the Lushin in Zayar is. Tshuva is a combination of two, word, two words. Or, first is a word, then it's us. Toshuv hey. Break up the word tshuva. Toshuv hey. Return the hey back. The hey is gone. The hey is missing. Return the hey back. Which hey are you talking about? And then you say this two tshuva. Tshuva tata, an inferior tshuva, and a, a, a superior tshuva. Tshuva ilah. So it seems like there's two hey's I'm missing. You tell the inferior touch of hey, bring back the hey, and then the tshuva ilah, bring back another hey. Which two hey's are missing? So we so we go to the source of the yid. The source of the yid comes from Hakadosh Baruch Hu, because the Gemara in Pesach says ki chelik Hashem ame, that Hashem's the nation are part and parcel of Him. So when I, we, we, we think about Hakadosh Baruch Hu, there's Hashem's name, which is yud and a ke, hey, and a vav and another hey. Ah, so now we found it where the two Hays are. The two Hays are in the Abishta's name. When it comes to the letter Yud, there's only one Yud. Comes to the letter Vav, there's one Vav. Comes to the Hay, there's two Hays. So there's a problem many in, 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 in the, as a result of the person's sins. Many times the, the lower Hay is lost, or is covered, or is in a state of Gullus, in a state of exile. And then there's a problem with the higher Hay. So Tereb says that this is Shuto Chuvitata Chuvila. The lower level of tshuva, tshuva is bring that hay back, tashuv hay. And then there's a higher level. Once you brought back the lower level of the hay, you brought back the higher level of the hay. You can bring back the higher level of the hay, tashuv hay, which is hay la, the higher, the first hay in Shem Hashem. <clears throat> what is the lower hay? The lower hay is the, the part of a Kodesh Baruch Hu which ultimately connects with the yid, which ultimately kind of manifests in his neshama. So when he takes his neshama and Rahman and he, and he makes a deliberate decision to sin, what he's taking is that hay of Shem Hashem, and he's burying the hay, or he's bringing, bring, putting the hay into exile. Exile by who? <clears throat> by un, impure forces. Klip and Sitrach, and they cause a thick layer to the extent it's a mechitza shal barzel. It's a mechitza, a partition of barzel, of metal, <clears throat> of iron, of metal. So Toshuv Hey, you gotta you gotta bring back that hey back to Shem Hashem. Because you took the hay and you put it into Golos. And that's Pshat Shuva. Bring the hay back. How are you Toshuv Hey when you take out the layers of this of this Ruach Atum of this impure force? And how do you break the layers of these impure forces impure forces through? A broken heart. So a broken heart breaks the layers, and therefore you could bring back that hay 
which fell the Hali Seitato to elevate the hate of this inferior Hilakima mean philosophy to uplift it from its state of falling Shinofla unfortunately <clears throat> this is again this is the hay which can, the connecting hay which is supposed to draw all the godly energy from Hashem's youth Kevav his name down into the Neshama but you ripped apart that hay and you separated from Hashem's name Nachman Litzlan and you brought in Shinofla Chitzain which fell into the levels of impurity you lack you need to Lakimo you have to elevate it meaning philosophy from its state of falling where did it fall it fell into the impure forces which is the secret of Golas Hashchina which is again tantamount with the whole phenomenon of Golas Hashchina the Shechina is in Golas when Achman al-Islam Hashem sees a certain situation of Goyim dancing in his, in his Heichel in his own chamber in Beis Amidosh the burning the Beis Amidosh Yidin Jewish suffering Hashem's own children are suffering the, the Chil Hashem the desecration of Akkad Baruch Hu's name among nations where nations triumph over Kedush over holiness or triumph over the Yid and where is God? God left? God doesn't leave the problem is that God himself was placed into Golis and Golis means you're there but you're not there you're in that room. Somebody's incarcerated. He's in the room. He's right there. Where is he? He could be two feet away from you. But he's not there in a way that he likes to be there. He doesn't, he's not in a state of expression like anybody in is in a state of Rahman al in a state of incarceration. He's there, but he's really not there himself because he cannot express himself in the way he would like to. And that's the idea. Golas HaShechina, the Ebishter, the Shechina is there. How does the Shechina like to express himself? To preserve Kedusha. To fight anything which is against Kedusha. And someone's burning the Ebish to make based on means when the Shechina is not in a state of goals, make sure it doesn't happen. And Hashem's only child is suffering, Hashem makes sure it does not happen. And He makes sure the suffering child should triumph over any enemy. That's what the Shechina would like to do. <clears throat> but nonetheless, the Shechina is placed in Golos. The Shechina is there. Hashem never, no such thing says Hashem should leave. Hashem leaves, nothing exists. Because everything is dependent 100% in the reality, in, in the existence of Hashem. So Hashem is there, therefore everything exists, but He doesn't, he's, he's similar to the one who's incarcerated, He's there, but He's really not there because He can't express Himself the way, way He would like to. The Shekhinah cannot express Himself the way He would like to express Himself. What caused the Shekhinah to go into Golos? The Shekhinah is the Eivishter. The Nefesh is the godly soul, is, is, is part of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. When I took my Eivishter within me and I covered it up with layers of impurity because of my sins, my deliberate decision to sin in action, in speech, and even in thought, and in levels and states of allowed myself to go into areas of impurity, I covered my neshama, hence the Shekhinah is covered. So that's why it's tantamount to the idea, to the notion of Golos HaShechina. Like it says, Golos Edim Shechini Imoim. Now when the Yidin went down to Edim, the Shekhinah went down with them. So that means when the Yidin went down, to add in the Shekhinim is there but the Rebbe Taiches it means in the in individually there's the micro picture of that Galul Adim Shekhinim and when the person does a mice of Adim who is Adim Adim was Asa which is the epitome of Klippa so when the person does mice say Adim he puts he, he does a <coughs> action of Adim he does an Aveira which is mice Adim at that point he brings down there and he draws down there the Pchino Venita Tzalukus that level and that spark, that godly spark, a mechayi, which vitalizes Naranchale, his nefesh, his ruach and shama, which ultimately amlubeshes by benefesh shabamis maklipa shivulibai, which is invested in the animal soul, which the animal make of the animal soul is klipa, which exists again, as we mentioned time and again, that it's in the station of the its main main, main station is in the heart. Shabachallah smali the left side of the heart. So <clears throat> when he sins, he pulls Rahman al he draws the godly spark which exists or the godliness, the Shekhinah itself, he pulls Rahman Aslan into terrible areas, into these unfortunate areas of Klippa and Sitar Akhra. Again, <clears throat> as he allowed his animal soul to be in charge of his thought, speech, and action, so he pulled the energy of his godly soul into the Klippa and Sitar Akhra, the way it came <clears throat> into expression by his decisions of, an, of his animal soul, or animalistic decisions. And that leads him, unfortunately, as long as he's a Russian. And that is Meshul Biyaktan Shalai that governs in his heart or in his entire being, rather, in the small city, as we mentioned, that's the entire being. And unfortunately, Naran, Kvushim, Begoyla, Etzla, his Nefesh, Nuruch, and Neshama are incarcerated or exiled in a state of exile, unfortunately, by the Nefesh Bahamis. Because it was those animalists, that animal soul made 
an establishment. That was the driving force. The person has the decision. <clears throat> but he allowed with his own deliberate decision that who should govern him, his animal soul, means to say the animalistic, he didn't hold himself back <clears throat> from these animalistic <clears throat> thoughts, speech, and action. <clears throat> So, unfortunately, as a result, the energy of his nefshalikis, his nefesh, his ruach, his neshama, his spirit, his neshama, his soul, which is really a chelik part of a Kodesh Baruch Hu, is drawn in and now it's completely covered, stand in a state of exile by the nefshah Bahamas. When his heart will be broken, then the spirit of impurity will be broken. Like the Pasik says, the of and all the energies will completely disperse and disseminate. And the he, and after that what happens, suddenly the hey goes back to the Yudkivov. It reunites. And therefore the Nishama together with the hey which is the, 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 the culmination or the la final, the conduit. No, the hay is the conduit between Hashem's name, the energy of Hashem's name, into the neshama. <clears throat> that hay which was pulled into Gaul is suddenly come in filosa and arises from the state of nefila, the state of falling. <clears throat> and then it not only rises, it gets up. You know, you, you know people are in the last few years, you have this, you know, they, they, were, they, they were lost in this, and imagine you take away layer after layer, they come up, and they stand up, and here I am. And thank you. I want to reunite with my loved ones. I want to reunite with people <clears throat> who I identify myself with. Now, Tereba adds, not only come in philosophy, but mitzava. It stands with a state of, state of like it says, at mitzav in kol with a state of um, upright posture, because it's able to reunite <clears throat> together with Gdusha and more so to draw the energy of Gdusha from the Yud Kevav, again, it's being the Heit HaTah, being a conduit into the Nefshel Likis, as the Nefshel Likis ultimately a part of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, and the person has a Nitzava. I believe that the al is alluding to the Mile of Tshuva eventually, that not only this is what the Gemara says, that about Tshuva is even greater than the Tzadi, because after he experiences the late Nishbar and he's, he's not only common in philosophy, but he stands with a certain firmness, even maybe more than the Tzadi. Because he's already, he, had to, he pulled himself out of something, he made a decision, he knows that he had in his conscious mind or even subconsciously, everything about him has an has enormous passionate drive to Kodesh Baruch even more than the Tzadi. So therefore, in the end of the day, the Tzadi Mitzvahs, which are going to come subsequent to his Abed HaTzadshuva, are going to be ultimately greater, the SSAs with greater intensity and greater strength, even more than the Tzadi. So I believe maybe the Altreb is adding not only Kamamani Filosa, the Gamnitsava, the certain mm, firmness and ground well groundedness in the Nishama when it comes subsequent to Chuba. Like it's explained elsewhere. So you need to like rehabilitation. Well, once you're rehabilitated, maybe you, you get back and things will even be better because you, you know what you were trying to leave from. <clears throat> so again, Chas Shalom, in one hand, you read the Pedic, the Al-Trebbe, it seems like, you know, some there's certain people where, where, where they're not capable just of getting onto the regular conveyor belt. I'll be tired, they're not ready to get them to, onto the regular conveyor belt of Avedis Hashem. They must go through that therapy. They must go through Avedis Hashem. In a sense, it could be discouraging. There's a follow this prayer. I'm a done deal. Can't start doing it. So firstly, make it, make, we've got to make it very clear. It doesn't mean, till you deal you do Avedis Hashem, you have to stop going to Shul. Chas Shalom. So you have this I can't get onto the regular conveyor belt. So I guess I can't go to can't go to shul and I can't put on tefillin. and maybe I should learn Tatum and so on. If the Gemara says something in Russia learns Tatum, this could this could be problems. Like some, but the answer is no. No question. A person has to do whatever he can to do Tatum mitzvahs. Even it says in the end of the day when the Gemara says that Russia's learning is not learn anyways. Because in the end of the day the, the energy of the Tatum maybe put you somewhere in your mind that you should do chuba bring you the notion, the importance of tshuva, that they, they, they lead you in the right direction. So you've got to do everything you've got to do. But the problem is that it's inevitable that your mind will not govern and have complete dominion over your heart. And there will be follies and there will be stumbles and because there is something which is covering between your heart. The you and HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Your heart is in control based on your previous decisions. So to do whatever you can, you got to do it. On the other hand, not to fall into despair, I'm overall a, a done deal because I have all these layers. And a person knows, could know, and could be in tune to it, and you could feel it, and it's no, there's no secrets when we seriously, with all sense of truth, focus and reflect and retrospect in ourselves. Same token, al says, tshuva is something which is part and parcel of Yiddishkeit. That we shouldn't think that we have to schlep about some therapy from uh, another place. No, tshuva is embedded in Tera. Therefore, there's a seder, there's rehabilitation for you. Do it, 
get on there, and not only that, you'll go through the rehabilitation, the Gamnit Sava, you'll even eventually even stand even greater and greater and higher than the Tzadik. So not to fall in despair, it is sad, it is terrible, that, a, that, that, that the uh, a yid should be libe b'shusay, or b'shusay believe that his heart is in charge, that Shabbat should be in charge of him, and he doesn't have the ability to make appropriate decisions. He does not have the ability to make conscious decisions because his heart is in the charge. You can't think of anything sadder than that. But in the same token, there is therapy, and the therapy is tshuva, and the tshuva is kama v'kam nitzavikets. Have a great night.